Could this be your next office mate? That's weird. It could, if robotic startup AnyBots has its way. AnyBots is the creator of QA, a telepresence robot. This robot, called QA, um, is uh, it's a kind of video conference system on wheels. Telepresence is a way to keep colleagues connected, but unlike, say, Cisco's telepresence systems, QA offers the freedom of mobility. It's like regular video conferencing. You can see the other people, they can see you, you can hear each other, um, but you can go anywhere. You can drive it around. And so when the people leave the conference room and go into the lab, you can follow them along and look at what they're looking at. There are certainly other products that aim to do the same thing, but what sets QA apart is looks. It's somewhere between a Segway and an armless mannequin. This actually gives QA an advantage, though. Its humanoid form embodies the remote operator, making it more than just a rolling video screen with a face. People never look good from the tiny little video camera in their laptops, so mostly we have people show a badge or just something that people will recognize who it is on the other end. With simple controls on a laptop, you can use QA to roam the office, talk to people, mm. okay, well that's probably a problem, and actually participate in a meeting. We have uh, four to six hours battery life, so it, it's pretty good for most meetings that don't go too long. QA has a list of features that beat any video conferencing system. A five megapixel camera, proximity sensors to avoid obstacles, a laser pointer that acts as a virtual finger, the ability to bend at the waist, and even glowing blue eyes that adjust to mood and lighting. But when it goes on sale next year at about $30,000 a pop, Will there actually be a market for such a bot? Travel keeps getting worse and worse every year. Um, so I, I, think, I think people are really interested in finding a way of collaborating with people without having to fly. He might be right, but QA isn't the only option. There's RP7 from InTouch, which lets doctors interact with colleagues and patients when not in the hospital. And RoboDynamics has the TILR, currently in beta testing. Not to mention all the small robots available now that offer two-way video communication. Sure, they only view the world from a few inches off the ground, but for a hundredth the cost of QA, that might be a sacrifice worth making. But with any telepresence robot, be careful what you say. It could be your boss at the controls. We're, we're constantly by, surprised by how hard it is to remember that it's a, it's a human driving it. I mean, people, people see the robot and they think, uh, they think they're talking to a robot, and, and then it answers their question and they think, how did the robot know that? But of, of course, it's the, it's, it's the guy on the other end. For IEEE Spectrum, That's weird. I'm Josh Romero.